How you can install apps on your PC on the LG OLED C4, we'll show you in today's video. Let's go, we have the brand new LG OLED C4 here and we want to install apps on the PC. These apps are not available in the App Store, for example, and that's why I really want to have this app on my PC. And the only option I have left is via the PC. Please note that the whole thing is limited here as well, i.e. you cannot download every app here. There is only a certain number of apps that you can download and install here. Suppose I want to install Kodi here. If I go to the App Store here, you will see that there is no app to install. These are the apps that are available here, for example, when I enter Kodi. Kodi is not included. But I would like to have this one, so I have to install it via the PC. First of all, you have to create an account here. Click on the name or on the symbol and you have to create an LG account here. You should NT have one yet. Otherwise, as I said, create one, log in with the device and create an account here. And of course select everything here. Then click on more. Agree. Now enter an email address, password, your date of birth, then click OK. And if you have entered everything, click OK. Then you have to confirm your mail that you have received, i.e. the confirmation mail, you have to confirm here. And if you have done that, click OK. Now enter the password you have selected before and click on sign in. So, and with that we have signed in and have now created an LG account here. And that's our nickname, which we can of course change and it'll do that right now. But you don't have to, as I said, but it'll change that right away so we know which TV it is and make it much easier for us here. And if you have changed that, just click on enter and OK. We have now signed in. Next, let's take a look at which software version we have. This is also very, very important. For this, click on the gear and then you go back to image mode and extended settings. With that we come to the complete menu and here to support, software update and here we see the software version 3.10.35. Of course, we link you to the website where you can see what is supported here, i.e. which software version is supported here. If yours is not there, then this software will not be supported. Next, we have to go to the App Store and go to Apps and here we have to download a specific app and this is called Developer. As the name suggests, Developer. So on the magnifying glass, enter developer here and if you have that, you have to download and install it. So developer and on search and here we have the app. Install, of course, and when it is finished, click on start. Now, of course, we have to log in again with our account, with our LG account. Here we get the message that we first have to go to the PC and go to the LG developer site, i.e. developer.lg.com and log in there. Only then is it possible here and we do it now. We have logged in and can now go to OK.
Log in and now we should be able to log in. All done. Now we get this window. What is important here? Of course the mode status. That means we have to activate it once and here it says the device will be restarted to change the developer mode status. That means the whole thing is restarted so that it becomes effective. Click on restart and now the whole thing is restarted. We open the app again after the whole thing has restarted. That means we have to go to the app. It should now be on the home screen. It is. Here we go in and now say key server on. Very important is that both devices must be in the same network, i.e. your TV must be in the same network as the PC. And with that we have to go back to the PC. I have already downloaded the software and we are now installing it by double clicking. Next. Then we have to accept the whole thing. Next, next, and install. Now the whole thing is installed. It takes a few minutes and then we can get started. All done. We click on finish. Then on next, we can skip the whole thing. And now you have to enter the data that we had on the TV or have. I now enter the data that we had on the PC or had on the TV. And below we enter the passphrase, which was also on the TV. And that's it. We can already click on finish. And in the next window we only have to click on available. And here we see the apps that are all there. That means I can install all of them here on my TV. I will now download a few apps so that you can see how the whole thing works. First click on the homebrew channel. Here you can still see the whole description. And on install. It only takes a few minutes and the whole thing is done. You see, it's done. I can already start. It'll do a few more. Coding, for example, what we said before. On details. Install. The whole thing is already installed. Here you can also see what the whole thing does or what the app can do. As I said, it is important that both devices are in the same network. Your TV as well as your PC. And not every app can be downloaded. So the ones that are available, you can install them. Because again and again the question arises, can I install this app? Can I install this app? No, but the whole thing is constantly updated here. Here we have another one, for example, YouTube ad-free. That means without advertising. I want that too. Install. And here you can skip everything, supposedly, as the whole thing looks like here. Now I have installed three. It'll take the custom screen saver. It shows me incompatible. It'll try it anyway. Otherwise it'll do this one. It's just so you can see that it's possible. Installed. We're done here and go back to our TV. And as you can see, the whole thing worked well here. The code is already on it and we can start the whole thing here. Here comes the notification. Press yes. I go back again. The next app that we downloaded here was the homebrew channel. That's this one here. And that works too, as you can see here. There are a lot of apps and games in there, as you can see here. Back again. End. And the last app we downloaded here was this app here with the screen savers. So it worked best. We installed apps over the PC here. It'll get out of this game again. If you have any questions, use the comment function. Subscribe to our channel, then you will be up to date. We say thank you for watching and goodbye.